it's Shay of Hip the Hoopla. I'm here to teach you a really quick tutorial on some foot hooping tips and tricks to help you get it easier. Okay, here we go. So, here's one of the things. So we're going to get it started on the hand. This is one of the easiest ways to get it going. You're going to take where the hand is. You're going to have like this kind of little in water movement with the hand. So the hand is doing this little floaty thing. You're going to start doing this with your foot too. Nice and warmed up first. Get this going, floaty thing with the hand. The floaty thing was an exaggeration. You're going to take the foot, slide it up the hand, put it where the hand is, and then remove the hand out. So that's where you get that going. If you want to get a break in, you can just take the other foot in and flip that over. This takes some practice and time and effort. This is going to be flying all over the place for a while, so get used to that. And it's also going to be coming down on your face. Try and keep a nice, even rhythm. Keep that floating. Think of yourself in water, like a little mermaid, your little tail fin going. So if you want to get the two feet going, you're going to slide the toe up, get that toe in. It's going around the instep of your foot. Keep that toe pointed. Slide that foot in. Slide the other one out. Slide that foot in. Slide the other one out. So although I've got these cutesy, see my little penguin feet, cutesy socks on, here's a really good tip, because I'm gonna get fancy on you now, is do this with bare feet, because you'll have more grip on the skin. So as we get this going, now, if I keep my foot pointed this way, if I want to take this out to the side, I'm going to start flexing my foot. So the hoop likes the perpendicular, so I can take this out all over the place. Again, taking it with the other direction. Slide, flex, 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 flex. This is really good ab workout. Ooh. Okay, and then um, if you want to be taking it and turning with this, okay, normally I would have a mat, which I highly recommend, so you don't injure your knees on hard surfaces. So I'm going to take this up, and I'm going to take this over. I still need to keep that same pulse on this. This is where it starts getting tricky, because doing this backwards and getting that pulse on there, so you can keep this going. So when it starts going down this way to the, the ankle and coming down the knee, this is where you want to get that toe in and pick this up on the other side. So it's already gone around the ankle. I'm going to pick that toe in and get that going. Two feet, one feet, down, back up. And that's one way to do it. Here's getting it started from a kick up position. We're going to have one foot in and we're going to kind of do a little brake lever here. So we're going to kick up, get the head out of the way. If you have a bigger hoop, this is going to come flying at your face. Try and keep your back nice and straight on this. Again, put your foot in there. So we're pulling it up over the toe and then push and pull. So the one that's got the, the hoop hooked is going to pull and the other one's going to push. Just ever so slightly, a little switch like that. And that's where that break can come in again. That way. That way. So that's some foot hooping tricks. Hopefully that helps. That is dedicated to my um, friends at the fabulous Over 40 Hoop Group. Yeah, you all rock. There's my thumbs. All right. So, happy hooping. This has been Shay from Hit the Hoopla. Have a great day. Today is Valentine's Day, though, too. So I wish you a happy Valentine's Day, but every day is Valentine's Day for all of us. So do good out in the world, care for each other, um, and be gentle with yourself, best of all. All right, take care. See ya.